Hey there and welcome back to the video. So in the previous video we uh, created a really simple test and the first test collection and we can see that we have a passing test and uh, Chai is working as expected. We can compare two values but uh, if we should make a, a little bit more meaningful test here it would make sense to try out the some of the routes in the API and we have this API slash uh, welcome that will return a message welcome to the man rest API uh, It's basically a text string that indicates that we have a basic route here we're not testing the database here but we will test the API functionality and before we do this let's just refactor this a little bit so we are creating arrow functions instead of the normal function there uh, because we've been using this in uh, other parts of the API also. Okay, we need something extra to be able to make this test here. So we're going to import some extra dependencies here. So we're going to use uh, chai HTTP first and just let's just require that. Yeah, and f then uh, what is chai HTTP? If we take a look in the internet here and you uh, find this URL here you can see that it is basically a plugin that will integrate with Chai and will allow you to do HTTP integration testing with Chai assertions so you can use this to connect to to HTTP and to routes and uh, to get a response so basically test the request and the response and there's a lot of good information on how you make these requests and also if you should use promises or normal callbacks, a lot of different informations in here. So that is a good resource. So then we also need, we got Chai HTTP, we need the server because now we will start to make a test that will actually use the server we have uh, developed here. So it will use the API. So we're going to require our server. So we're going to go and just get the server here and then finally so we're just going to put it up here we're going to import uh, another uh, assertion function called should also from chai and it's a little bit different here because we will actually have to call this as a function uh, as opposed to this expect and if you're wondering the differences between these two then I think the easiest way is probably to go to this URL where they explain about these assertion styles where you can see that it comes in two flavors this BDD it has expect and should and they both use the same chainable language to construct assertions but there are some differences between them and in really short you could uh, read here that should has some issues when used with Internet Explorer but there is a bit more information here so I also uh, encourage you to read here to get more information about that okay so we have our uh, dependencies and finally we just need to tell our chai assertion to use chai HTTP okay so now we've set up everything we have the uh, the assertion library we have the chai HTTP so we can inter interface and test HTTP services so let's make a new test. Let's just make a new test case here. Let's just keep the other one here. And let's do, let's write here, test default API welcome route. And because we are working with uh, an API and a server, and we have a lot of things going on here, it is connecting to the database and everything. And some of this stuff might uh, happen uh, asynchronously. Maybe when we are connecting to the database, we're fetching data from that. Then we can use this uh, done variable here. And then we can, let's see here. We have our test case here. And when we're done with the, uh, with the test here, we can call done. And then it will do all the assertions. So if we didn't do, if we didn't call it done here, then we might end up in a case where we would have done all the assertions before the actual request uh, from the server would have been completed. 
So that is why we can do, uh, we can call it done down here. So then we need to, to call chai request, and then uh, we can add the server. So we are requesting the server. Then we can ask for a get request. And we can see that we can also do post and a lot of different requests. But we write get here first, and then we need to type in the URL that we want to access here. So we type in API welcome. And then we will write end here because then we might get, might end up with an error or we will also have a response. And we're going to use this in our function here. Uh, let's just put in done in here. Whoop. Okay. So now we have requested the welcome route from our server and we have a response hopefully. So if we make a simple test here, we can take a look at the response and then we can use this should uh, assertion also this library that we got here from, uh, from Chai. And we can write that response should have status of 200. because we can see here that in the server.js that if everything goes well with the route, it will respond with a status 200 and then it's going to also send a message to us. So we can use this in our test. We can check up on the status that it is on 200. Okay, so if we do this first and let's see if we can run the test here. So we can see that we are actually getting the server because it responds with server is running on port 4000. So that is nice. We have a server up and running. And then we can see test default API welcome route. And it passes. Okay, so let's just try to see if we can change the status here. So it will fail maybe. So we can see here now that we get, we got an actual 200, but we expected 400. So that makes sense that we are expecting 400 here. And uh, so that is working right now. If we should do something more, we can also, because we can see that we get actually a JSON object here with a key and a value. So if we go back here, we can also make the the body should be. Uh, let's just see if I type it correctly here. Should be an object. So that is another test there, and just to demonstrate that we can actually also output our response and let's just put the body here and we can output the message if because we know that we're going to get a message from the server let's see what happens now okay so we can see here first test collection we have uh, welcome to the main rest api so that is the message we get from uh, from the route and we can also see it is uh, passing because it has uh, 200. Okay, so we have a lot of different uh, ways we can test this on. We can also, um, let's just see here, whoop. We can actually also write array here because maybe later on we will fetch all the products from the database and that will be contained in an array. So we can also type in array here if we get the response, that is an array. And we can see again that Maka is responding that it was uh, expecting uh, it to be an array, but it actually got object with a message in there. So everything is it's okay that we get a response from this uh, API and 
when we write our tests in the correct way, we can actually make sure that we, we get some input from the API. The last thing I want to show is just that we can also make a final check here. We can write expect. Uh, let's just see, maybe we should make a constant first. Actual value. We can put in response body message. And then we can use this expect again. Let's just get rid of the terminal there. We can use this expect uh, actual value to be equal. And then we can directly type in this message that we know we're going to get from our API here. All right. So let's see what happens. All right, so it will pass again. All the different uh, assertions will pass here. And if we make a small modification, so let's just say we want to change. Let's say we modify something in the, in the API. And for some reason, we want to make a small change updated here. And we run our test again then we should be able to see that the tests are failing. And again, we can see Mocha is responding with, or expected this text here to equal uh, this message here, uh, but uh, it actually got this uh, updated text here. So there is a mismatch here and the test is failing. Okay, so we can see that if any of these assertion here, these expectations fail, then the entire uh, test will fail and gives us a good indication of what is wrong here. Okay, so I think this is enough for this video. And of course, we're not interfacing and testing uh, the database yet. We're just testing uh, the API now. So this is the syntax we can use to make a request to the API and to assert if some properties or values or some something is what we expect it to be. Okay. So this is uh, the end of this video and uh, stay tuned for the next video where we will try to connect to the database and actually see some uh, tests on that. Okay, so hope you make this work and have fun with us. Bye-bye.